Now today we will read about the properties of determinant. Next topic properties of determinant. First property the value of determinant remains unchanged if its rows and columns are interchanged. So if a equal to determine a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3, and b equal to determinant a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3, and c1, c2, c3, then determinant a will be equal to determinant. Now second property, if any two rows, if any two rows, Packet my columns are interchange interchange then the value of determinant and the value of determinant changes by minus sign of For example, let determinant A equal to A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3 and determinant B equal to. Now if we change any two rows or column, suppose I am changing the row or column 1 and 3. We are interchanging column 1 and 3. So it will be like this A3, B3, C3, A2, B2, C2, A1, B1, C1. Then determinant A will be equal to minus of determinant B. Then the determinant A equal to minus of determinant. Next property if any two rows, if any two rows or column or columns of a determinant of a determinant are identical then its value are zero then the value of determinant will be g for example if a equal to a1 a2 a3, b1, b2, b3, then again a1, a2, a3. Now here row 1 and row 3 are identical, so its value is equal to 0 because r1 and r3 are identical. Now fourth property, if each element of a row a constant k then the value of new determinant will be k times the value of original return. the value of original determinant now this property pe kis tarah ki problem banti hai dekh lete hain if a is a square matrix of order 
and its determinant value is and its determinant value is 7 then find determinant 4a now we have to find the value of determinant 4a now here given determinant a equal to 7 now we have to find determinant 4a. Now a is a square matrix of order 3 into 3. So determinant 4a will be equal to 4 cube determinant a. Now 4 cube will be equal to 64 multiplied by 7. So 7, 4, 28, 2, 7, 6, 42, 4, 48. So this is the value of determinant 4a. 440. अब इन डिटरमिनेंट की प्रॉपर्टीज से हम प्रॉब्लम को किस तरह से सॉल्व करेंगे वो देख लीजिए किस तरह से हम डिटरमिनेंट की प्रॉपर्टी को यूज करेंगे ना प्रॉब्लम नंबर 1 इवैल्यूएट 1 1 1 ए बी सी देन बी प्लस सी सी प्लस ए एंड ए प्लस बी नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड 1 1 1 a b c b plus c c plus a a b plus b now this is r1 this is r2 this is r1 this is r2 and this is r3 here this is c1 this is column 2 this is column 3 suppose we apply c2 c2 plus c3 Applying operation C2 plus C3 in column 2, then we will get 1, 1, 1, A plus B plus C, B plus C plus A, and C plus A plus B. Then B plus C, C plus A, A plus B. Now taking out common A plus B plus C, Now this will be equal to a plus b plus c 1 1 1 1 1 1 and then b plus c c plus a, a plus b. Now this the value of this determinant will be equal to 0 because column 1 and column 2 are identical. So the value of this determinant will be equal to 0. Next problem. Evaluate 1 1 1 BC CA AB A multiplied by B plus C B multiplied by C plus A and C multiplied by A plus B 1 1 1 BC CA AB Now this will be AB plus AC BC plus BA and CA plus C. Now applying C2, C2 plus C3. Now this will be equal to 1, 1, 1. AB plus BC plus CA. AB plus BC plus CA. AB plus BC plus CA. Now AB plus AC. BC plus BA. And CA plus CB. So taking common AB plus BC plus CA, we will get 1, 1, 1. AB plus AC, BC plus BA, and CA plus CB. So the value of this distribution is equal to 0 because C1 and C2 are 